Hi, I'm Mark, and welcome to the weekly Outside Views report on German politics. According to a survey, a clear majority of Germans reject the delivery of modern combat aircraft to Ukraine. 64% of those surveyed stated in the current trend barometer on RTL that NATO should not deliver such combat aircraft to Ukraine. Only 28% are in favor of it. The remaining 8% answered don't know or did not want to give an answer at all. Approval was significantly higher among supporters of the Greens, where more than uh, where 45% were for and 39 against uh, the delivery of combat aircraft. Chancellor Olaf Scholz from the Social Democrats has so far been reluctant to deliver fighter jets. Most recently at a press conference in Rotterdam at the end of March, he made it clear that he did not want to have this debate. Poland and Slovakia have already delivered Soviet-designed MiG-29 fighter jets to Ukraine. Kiev's demands for Western-style combat aircraft have so far remained unfulfilled. Respondents are divided on increasing arms aid to Ukraine as well. 49% thought such plans were wrong. 47% say they are right. The Social Democrats have accused the Conservatives of wanting to set up a committee of inquiry into the tax scandal involving the Warburg Bank in Hamburg for party tactical interests. The topic has been fully processed and transparent in Parliament and society, said the Parliamentary Director of the Social Democrats Parliamentary Group Katja Mast on Tuesday to the German press agency. The union has no interest in knowledge but follows party tactical interests. It makes claims that have long been refuted. Well, the union, the CDU, had previously announced that it wanted to use the Committee of Inquiry in the Bundestag to clarify whether political influence was exerted on the tax case when Chancellor Olaf Scholz was mayor of Hamburg. It should also be checked whether the gaps in memory that the Chancellor relies on in this context are credible. The CDU and CSU alone have at least a quarter of the votes required to set up a committee of inquiry. In the coalition dispute over basic child security, Social Democrat leader Saskia Esken endorsed the sum of 12 billion euros demanded by the Greens. I assume that we will also need the amount of 12 billion, said Esken on Tuesday in uh, public morning television. She supports the demands of Family Minister Lisa Paus from the Greens to invest more money in combating child poverty. So far, the 12 billion euros are still an estimate, said Askin. The most important goal must be to reach more people from the circle of beneficiaries. Federal Defense Minister Boris Pistorius has been in office for three months and is now beginning to reform the Bundeswehr significantly. Pistorius apparently wants to cut dozens of management positions. As media reported, citing ministry circles, about 160 out of 370 jobs are affected. Accordingly, the organization and revision staff with its approximately 100 employees and the strategic armament control staff with around 26 employees will be removed from the management. The area of the inspector general will be greatly reduced, the report says. Department heads in the ministry, on the other hand, should be given, yeah, what they call it, more responsibility. The offices of the state secretaries are to be reduced from around 20 employees to 5 or 6. According to media, the state secretary responsible for procurement, Benedict Zimmer, may be replaced by General Christian Badia by August at the latest. As Deputy Supreme Allied Commander Transformation, Badia is currently responsible for the further development of NATO structures. Cyber attacks have paralyzed the website of public authorities in several federal states. In Saxony-Anhalt and Mecklenburg-Western Pomerania, the website of the ministries were temporarily unavailable on Tuesday, and in Lower Saxony, the websites of the police were affected. Hackers also tried again to disrupt a new German development ministry platform for reconstruction in Ukraine. 
A connection between the cyber attacks in the federal states and the incidents at the Development Ministry, which have already been reported to the Federal Office for Information Security, the BSI, has not yet been assumed. In Saxony-Anhalt, the websites of the ministries and subordinate authorities were temporarily unavailable, as the Ministry for Infrastructure and Digital announced. It was a so-called DDoS attack. The servers were therefore deliberately overloaded. The attack was apparently part of a Germany-wide campaign, the ministry said. Business premises of the European People's Party, the EPP, in Brussels have been searched in connection with investigations into the Thuringian CDU party and parliamentary group leader Mario Vogt. The Belgian authorities were thus providing legal assistance for the German investigators, said the spokesman for the Erfurt public prosecutor, Hannes Grünseisen. The um, Mitteldeutsche Rundfunk, that's German public television, had previously reported on it. The investigators were looking for information about Volk's activities in the 2019 European election campaign. It was about determining what influence the accused had on the award of an order to a Jena company, said Grünseisen. There is a suspicion that Volk could have received money from this company after the company was commissioned by the EPP to conduct an online election campaign. The Public Prosecutor's Office has been investigating Folk for several months on suspicion of corruption in commercial transactions. The EPP confirmed that Belgium and uh, German police officers had visited party headquarters in Brussels in connection with an ongoing investigation in Thuringia. The party cooperates in full transparency with the authorities involved and provides all relevant information and documents, as the party wrote in a statement on its website. As the investigation is ongoing, no further comments will be made. Vogt had rejected all allegations in connection with the investigation. In the first three months of this year, the federal government approved slightly fewer arms exports than in the same period last year. According to preliminary figures, the value of the permitted deliveries from January to March totaled 2.4 billion euros, with half of all export licenses for war weapons being granted, as the Federal Ministry of Economics announced on Monday. In the first quarter of 2022, the value was 2.88 billion euros. According to the information, Ukraine has been granted permits worth more than 497 million euros to defend against the Russian war of aggression. Only Hungary had a higher value of around 765 million euros. According to the ministry, the deliveries approved to the EU and NATO partners were preliminary ammunition for the country's armed forces. The Ministry of Economic Affairs emphasized that almost 90% of the total approval value relates to close partner countries, which includes not only EU and NATO countries, but also countries with equal status such as Japan or Switzerland and the third countries Ukraine and South Korea. Authorizations worth 262 million euros were allotted to other third countries, of which around 46.8 million euros went to the West African state of Niger alone, mainly for border surveillance aircraft, and 45.9 uh, million euros to the United Arab Emirates for goods to protect against chemical weapons. The Swabian village of Ostelsheim in the Kalf district elected Rian al Sebel as the new town, uh, as the new mayor on Sunday with an absolute majority of 55% of the votes, as the municipality announced this week. The 29-year-old ran for election as an independent. Privately, however, he is a member of the Greens. He describes his experiences during the election campaign as predominantly positive. At the age of 21, Alsebel fled his hometown of Suvaida in southern Syria. He has been working in the administration of the Althengstedt Town Hall for seven years now. As mayor, Alzebel now plans to move to nearby Ostelsheim, he said. 
Shortly before Germany finally phased out nuclear power, the Liberals spoke out in favor of the continued operation of nuclear power plants, contrary to the plans of the Social Democrats and the Greens. The nuclear power is a strategic mistake to shut them down and in this sense of the energy policy situation that was said by Secretary General Bijan Dierseray on Monday at a news portal. As a result, Germany regrettably misses the opportunity to ensure more climate protection and lower energy prices without much effort. From the point of view of the FDP, the Liberals, the extension of the term makes sense, he said. The Liberals continue to oppose the Social Democrats and Greens' plan to shut down the last three nuclear power plants in Germany in just under two weeks. Germany's exit from nuclear energy, originally planned for the turn of the year, will finally be completed in April. The remaining three German nuclear power plants, Isar 2, Neckar-Westheim 2 and Emsland, will be taken off the grid by April 15th at the latest. And this concludes this week's report on German politics. You'll find another report right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.